Hello everyone, this is Suzanne, and today we're going to do a mini devotional from the book, The Spirit is Calling. Do you find it hard to wait? I think we all do at times. We get anxious. We want it now. In a world where we live, that everything is at our fingertips, I want it now, I don't want to wait, have it your way, but is that good for us? I don't think so. All right, let's get with this nice mini devotional today. We prove ourselves by our purity, our understanding, our patience, our kindness, by the Holy Spirit within us, and by our sincere love. 2 Corinthians 6, 6. Wait for me. Beloved, the way I hone a life, sharpen it for my use, isn't always easy or comfortable. As with my servant Paul, I sometimes choose hardship as my tool to sharpen the edges of your faith. To sharpen the edges of your faith. Do you have knives that need sharpening? My husband sharpened some of our knives the other night because they were dull. They didn't work quite the same. And when we get it sharpened, oh, it cuts through my meat, my tomatoes, my cucumbers, just like slicing through butter. Well, the Holy Spirit chooses hardship, sometimes chooses hardship as my tool to sharpen the edges of your faith. Sometimes the edges of our faith do need sharpening by the Holy Spirit so that we can once again be as useful as we need to be as Christians. Sharpen the edges of your faith. We can do that by transforming our mind daily. With the Holy Spirit's help, he will sharpen us many times over in this lifetime. And that's a good thing. It may not feel comfortable at the time, but it's a very good thing. Although every event of your life is under my control and timing, you sometimes shy like a horse, doubting my plans and my heart. Doubting my plans and my heart. May we never do that. I show my love for you by doing the best for you. If you truly believe the Holy Spirit is doing the best for us in our lives, we need to heed to the call of the Holy Spirit. We need to find out who he is when we put on the Holy Spirit. And perhaps in the future we'll do a study on the Holy Spirit and how he works in our lives. I think that would be a very good study for us. By exercising patience, you show that you trust me and you prove yourself a loyal and faithful servant. Oh, let it be said. Do not fear that I am delaying. I am never delayed and I am never late. I am waiting with you. I am always on time with what you need. Sometimes what we think we need and what God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus know what we need are two different things. So let us keep heeding to the call of the Holy Spirit. Help me to feel your presence and peace while I'm waiting on you. Can I get an amen? Amen. Wait for me. Uh, sometimes that's hard, but when I've lived as many years as I've lived and perhaps that you've lived, we develop that patience to wait. Because we want to wait to see what the Lord is going to do in our lives. And if it didn't work out the way we planned, you know that maybe God protected you from something. And most likely he has a better plan for your life. All right. Take care, everyone. This is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your day to um, hear this devotional. I love each and every one of you. And Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow, which is Saturday, with another mini devotional. 
Take care for now.